Okay, I want to do a video basically on this person that um, I I um, just watched recently. I may have subscribed to her. Um, I like her videos generally. She's a brown skinned black American. Uh, no, she's not actually black American. She is brown skinned and she's Haitian descent. Yeah. I remember that because she was saying how she had plastic on her um, sofas, her older relatives, and that is a Haitian thing. But anyway, um, yeah, she, she, um, a brown skinned black woman who um, does, Caribbean American woman, who does um, videos sometimes on colorism, but not always. She just does them sometimes. Um, so the one that I just came across just now is about this video she's responding to. But the thing is about this video, um, it's an older video. It's a video that was done, um, it was done, um, like maybe a year ago, maybe longer. I know Chrissy, um, commented on it a long time ago. And I, I mean, if I watched it and I know that she commented on that then i mean because i don't watch prissy because my thing is with her is i once watched a video about her saying uh Nicki minaj didn't look black or something and cardi b wasn't black really and i consider both of them black i relate to them very much so because people like rihanna Nicki minaj and like uh cardi b they have the same setup a black mother and a mixed father um and they're lighter skinned and i don't know i just relate to that more because it's like well they are light skinned and they might look a little ambiguous i wouldn't say rihanna though but you know but they're still black women because they have a black mother and a mixed father Same with beyonce um mixed mother black father um so yeah um so I don't really appreciate that kind of uh, content, so I stopped watching. But, um, generally, like, I do, like, I do not watch those, but I still came across that video. And, I mean, as far as that video, I didn't see it the first time all in part but on this one she showed more of it um the first video she just seemed like she was a little crazy and just popping off that's how i saw it. i was just like oh some crazy girl with glasses freaking out of a dark skinned black woman but i was like on this last one with uh, um the Z V or whatever uh to me i kind of felt like it was different Yes, she probably has some underlying mental issue of some sort, and something might not be right there. But the main thing that I felt was that some dark-skinned black woman or something may have offended her in some way, and was probably why she basically is popping off at women. Is that right? No. Especially to random dark skinned black women who never said anything against her. That's just kind of psychotic, you know. But, I mean, to me, the way I see it for me personally, I kind of feel like. You know, darker skinned black women sometimes they hold a certain type of ideal in their minds and sometimes like my mother told me about like different ghettos sometimes they have like a certain type of ideal I would be like because my aunt was supposedly the ideal as far as that goes she's my color she had like long natural hair but her hair wasn't soft her hair was probably a 4, I would think. Like, 4B? Maybe? 
her hair was tighter. Like, my mother's is the softest of the families, and she's a 3C, but she was one of the tighter. And my mom's dark skin, uh, but she was, like, lighter skin. So she didn't have soft hair, but her hair was straight. I mean, it was long, and when she straightened it, you know, it was straight, obviously. Um, so, I mean, she taught me how they always saw her as more ideal with a bigger butt and, like, white skin and longer, supposedly softer hair, you know? And, I mean, but to me, in my view... I kind of feel like a lot of the time, dark skinned black women, they kind of put that as their ideal. Like, that's what they see as ideal. And then what happens is that when you're lighter skinned, they start trying to compare you to that ideal. So it's like, kind of like you are trying to have this thing committed to yourself that's not going to fit you and it's going to attack you and hurt you in the end, right? It's going to kill you, your self-esteem and everything. So, from my point of view, as a black woman who's lighter skinned, I totally relate to that lady in some extent of that, like, there's some times where dark-skinned black women will really go at you very racistly. Yes, very racistly, like, to the point of, like, like, saying, like, your hair is, you know, a lot tighter curled. Your hair's shorter. Your hair's thinner. You know, and, you know, just, like, basically tearing your self-esteem of yourself up about your hair or trying to... And it's like, sometimes I can understand, like, other, if different other qualities. If it's not that, they'll go after something else because they want to basically try and level the pain, playing field. So, like, they want to find a fault in you because they see for themselves, they feel there's an insecurity, and then they want to be evened out. This is why when things like that happen, I generally, in my past, I've never, like, been the type that just sits back and lets it happen, really. But I'm not going to go online, obviously, and attack random dark skin women. I would go to the source. I'd go to the source and tell them how they are, basically. Because I'm like, if you are going to try and go after my insecurities, I'll go after your insecurities. That's just how I am. And I know people always think that's wrong. I feel like that's what the girl was trying to do. But she was implementing it on the wrong victims, basically. She was implementing it on those wrong victims because maybe she couldn't get to the woman who was really attacking her or something. Maybe she was upset about that and so it aggravated her more and then she takes it out on someone else randomly either way i mean it wasn't right obviously what she did it it was just a matter though of not having access i think to the person who really did a wrong or maybe she's just crazy and just pops out on people like that i don't know i really don't but I'm just like, I think that's what's going on there. That she's just pissed off at the next person because one person did her wrong. And I don't think it's like that the lady just called her the B word, for example. I think maybe somebody told her something about maybe, I don't know, her face shape or something she looks like or maybe like the way her weight or the way her body is shaped, you know, something to get under her skin. And when she can under her skin, the next thing is very easy, too, because, you know, as a lighter skin person, sometimes you know why the other person is trying to dig in your skin. So, you know, to dig on top of that skin. Now, is that wrong? I don't 
really see it as wrong because you kind of started the situation. And maybe someone would say I'm wrong for that. But I mean, like, if you're going to be racist towards me, I don't really think it's wrong to acknowledge the pot is darker than, I mean, the kettle is darker than the pot. You know, it's nothing wrong with that to me, in my opinion. Am I saying that you should commit, like, Frank Castle when, like, dirty or bleach your skin, like she was saying? No, I, I, I never... Uh, bleach your skin is a thing that's never come through my head. I don't know. To me, I think tan your skin. Like, I guess because that's my reality. Tan is a reality for me. But bleach your skin. I don't know. I just It just doesn't come through my ideas of uh, ways to uh, attack someone for their insecurity. Plus, I guess to me, since I come from a white neighborhood... It's like, skin bleaching to me is like a double-edged sword thing. Because like, every light-skinned girl is darker than a white person. A white person could you easily turn that around and turn it on you. So, I, I don't know. To me, it's just like, that's pretty dumb to use something like that. Cause, and plus, I'm lying. You know how it is? Everybody gets to see it. You know what I mean? So, white people looking at you, laughing at you, saying, well, don't you need a bottle of bleach? Right? <laughs> I mean, like, you kind of deserve it at that point, because you're the one trying to attack the next person, and so, I mean, you're kind of like a good candidate to be a good victim of that kind of attack, you know what I mean? I don't know. But to me, I just think, like, I totally understand now the premise of that whole video now because before i just thought it was some crazy whacked out girl just freaking out about dark skin women or something but now i actually understand the whole premise of that video and yeah that's about it so as you, I'm, like i said you don't like to just mess with certain people they will pop off randomly like that and in my opinion pretty crazily but yeah I don't understand though. If I were her, I would take the video down. I don't know. Did someone download it and just put it up somewhere so you can do that? I don't know. I, w I wouldn't want my video just stuck up there like that. I'd be like, dude, I'm too embarrassed about it after a while. Probably like 10 seconds after I was doing the video. If I did a video like that. Honestly, like I said, I would never do that. Like saying things like, you know, dark-skinned girls are, are not pretty or something. I mean, like, that would be a thing I would never say, because I just don't see that. Like, that's not my reality. Like, whenever I talk to a dark-skinned person about those kind of things in a heated situation, I would more so imply they, if they don't think it, because why are you trying to go at me, you know, kind of thing. You know, like, why are you going after me if you think, if you don't think that way? You know, but I don't go after, I don't, like, I personally don't think that way. I personally think they're very beautiful. But I guess, like, if you grow up in a community with one, like, if you grew up with your ideals being, like, skin is more, you know, attractive and stuff, and more feminine, then you don't have to worry really about, like, the, like, saying it that way because you actually might feel that way and is that really wrong i don't know like to me i think if someone thinks that attractive or being an attractive woman is what they are being light-skinned woman or whatever being a white woman being an asian woman we all have our ideals and beauty i don't think that's wrong if the next person thinks it too you know what i mean it's a whole thing about dark skin they need to think that they are basically they are the shit you know what i mean <laughs> and that's where everything falls apart because if they're not feeling that way then they, it, it puts more pressure on other people to not feel that way just to make them feel good about themselves and everybody should feel like they're the shit but that's the whole problem they don't feel like the shit and so then, 
you know, they they end up feeling bad because the next person doesn't feel that they are, you know. And I think that's another thing, you know, growing up with, like, darker-skinned people or growing up with lighter-skinned people, this is where it affects our ideals. For me, I grew up with darker-skinned black people, black women. Um, and so, for me, I mean, that was why I saw that as ideal. Now, the next person who's dark-skinned who grows up with light skin, they might see that as ideal. You see... And it has the same effect. You compare your own femininity, your own attractiveness, to the opposite. So, like me as a lighter-skinned woman, I compare my my beauty and my femininity to darker-skinned women in my family and things of that nature. And you know, I don't see I don't see that as wrong. Like, um. It's gonna happen sometimes in some families, I think. And you just have to learn to basically shine on your own, basically. It's the same way with dark skinned black people. You have to learn to shine on your own. And I understand some people say that they don't see themselves in the media and that they feel like they aren't embraced and things of that nature. And for me, like, I do remember growing up a major thing that was kind of helpful, I guess, was that some people, you know, like, celebrities, many of those celebrities, Beyonce, Rihanna, Nicki Minaj, I can name, keep naming people and I don't feel like naming them all, but, you know, they're people that I could see myself in and have similar complexion to and stuff, and I feel like, you know, like, I guess that could help validate I guess, but for me, that wasn't really anything, I mean, I never saw it that way, I mean, I just saw it like, oh, well, I don't know, they, I guess, to me, I'd always compare them to darker skinned women, and then that, there goes that, you know, kind of thing, so, I don't know, that really didn't help me any, like, people say the media, media didn't help me, I mean, media, to me, I guess you could say if you paid attention, yeah, they did prefer lighter-skinned women. But I look at the darker-skinned women, and they'd always look better than light-skinned women to me. So then, let that do. Because, I mean, I guess I have eyes, and so my eyes dictate what's better-looking and stuff. And so then I always think, like, that's better still, even if people are hyping the next thing up. You know what I mean? It's all about perception, basically. I think that might actually be why a lot of dark-skinned people or light-skinned people might feel the same way. Because they feel like they have a perception of light-skinned beauty, but they didn't really get exposed to the other side of it. And then they might feel less than for those reasons. I don't know. If... I, I I just think you have to look in the mirror, like I've said several times, but that's just my opinion on it. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I'm going to say in this video. Um, uh, yeah, I think I'll be done with this video. Alright, thanks, bye.